Um, this is what your floor looks like once you're done. We gotta clean it up, but you have a nice smooth routered edge. And it looks like it's been a professionally installed floor. All right, so pretty much what we're doing today is we're putting in the floor. And uh, we're using these um, thin acrylic sheeting. Uh, we already have everything framed in, the plywood's in. What's cool about this is it's an acrylic sheeting and you can use woodworking tools. So what we're doing is to make it look like that nice clean round edge, we're taking a router, we're routering off the edge here to give it that smooth, clean look that you, you normally see in boats when you have the starboard all flushed together and the edges are all routed off. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, we just finished up with this piece. Now we gotta do a couple measurements because we gotta do a little bit of cutout, but um, it comes out really great. Um, it's a lot cheaper than what you would normally spend on starboard. You can get a four by eight sheet of this for about a hundred bucks. So, um, and then we just cut them to size, router off the edges and boom. Now you look like you have a professional installed fiberglass floor, but half the cost. So pretty much what we're doing here is uh, we've laid out several panels on one big sheet of this plastic. Um, that way we can see these big chunks here, they're scrap. Now we can actually cut other pieces out of it instead of wasting more. So I'll show you here. So what we got going on here is we got one panel here, got another panel here, and then one right here. So what we're going to honestly do here, now that we have, uh, we can fit multiple panels in one sheet with, with less waste, because uh, this stuff is expensive, it's about $200 a sheet. We want to save as much as we can, so um, a pro tip for us is to get all of your panels laid out before you start cutting. See which ones you can mix and match to fit the most out of your panel. That way you won't have less, less waste. <laughs> 